Right, we're in. You need your RADA, RADA key to get in. It's a little gravel track. Uh, hopefully we'll be alright. This is only an ODA3 so uh, doesn't look like you need a 4x4 to get up here. We shall see how it goes. Not much worse than some of the main roads around Bournemouth. Unfortunately there is space to turn round up here, don't really fancy reversing all the way back down there. Alright, we're here. Time to get out and take a walk. Right, probably should have brought my wellies but hey ho boot cleaning time later looks like we have a loo here but stuff inside it depends how desperate you are plenty of bushes Mr. Purse, how are you? And here we have a famous local mullet angler. You can spot the mullet anglers by the blank expression on their face. I had a couple of people said this bit is much deeper than the other bit. Yeah, it's deeper. Yeah. So we came out, I thought we'd go on there today, and all we're getting is little tiny things. Yeah? Which part were you fishing? Tiny little bloodies, nothing bigger than that. Yeah? I'm going to have to come out and show you how to do it, Marty. No, no one could do it. Brian Wilson written this, his missus fishes this well every time she comes up to me. He won't be at the moment because they're not having it. Yeah, well, the good thing is it's a very nice, almost like being in the middle of nowhere. Oh, well, to be honest, you are in the middle of nowhere. There's a noise going on over there. You are in the middle of nowhere, though, aren't you? Yeah. Apart from the flight path. 
It is a, it is a nice spot. It's a nice wild unspoilt spot. See? Is that your motor? No, I just down the end there. Oh, okay. What, that van? No, no, the A4. The A3. Coming up the path, I was wishing I bought the four-wheel drive, but yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad. I thought that would be on something there. No, 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 no. Wouldn't bring a car like that up here and get it filthy dirty. Yeah, <laughs> right, nice to see you. Take care, mate. Not having the wellies, I think I'll give that section a little bit of a miss for today, but you can get a good view down the actual length of it from here. And I should take you back this way and go see if we can find anybody who's actually catching. Okay. Nice open expanse, plenty of platforms. Hello Graham. Hello Graham. Have you caught anything yet? And are those maggots? Not Sorry? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Purse was complaining that all he's been catching is small stuff. Yeah, it is. That's all it seems to be at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I've only, had a, I've only been fishing back before. Well, it's better than blanking like he usually does. Yeah. Mr. Purse goes mullet fishing, so he's used to catching nothing. It is nice and dry underfoot. Aren't we having any luck? No. See? Yeah. I know, have you caught anything yet and have those maggots? As you can see, it's a fairly extensive little complex and you could be miles away from anywhere. Well, as I was saying to Martin, you are miles away from anywhere. It's uh, very countryfied, very wild, very natural. A load of fish put in it, restocking it last February. 
nice place to spend an afternoon. Lots of potential, lots of opportunity for different styles, different spaces, much bigger than everyone thinks. So there you have it, Parley Lakes on the Ringwood and District Angle Association book. Members only, membership isn't that expensive. Uh, cost you 20 pound joining fee and 170 for the year which works out about the same as buying day tickets uh, for day ticket waters that are available which there aren't any available for this lake uh, about one every three weeks and you can go fishing for all day or an hour half an hour without chasing around trying to find somebody to sell you a ticket exceedingly good value loads of little lakes in the ring were booked for you to fish Loads of lengths of the Stour and the Avon to fish. Christchurch Harbour. And for most of the lakes during the open season, you can get day tickets for your mate who's not a member. Um, even for lakes like this where there's no day tickets available to the public. Great opportunity. Just coming down here to the track. As I said, nothing wrong with this track. I'm only driving an Audi A3, so we've not got massive ground clearance or anything. Um, perfectly fine. As with any country track, take it at sensible speed. Try to avoid the worst of the potholes. And we're coming up to the exit gate, which you need an RADA key for. And we'll this video and end at that point.